And welcome back to, uh, <laughs> who would win? I was going to say World's Part, that's a, that's a game store in my area. Uh, welcome back to Who Would Win. Today's Who Would Win comes with, the first of all, yesterday was the first of the month, but it's essentially the first week of the month. Uh, and we have one from Mr. Blue who asked the question, who would win a fight, Silver Surfer or Dr. Manhattan? Uh, both these guys are extremely overpowered in many ways. Um, both are basically capable of creating fund the fundamental force or manipulating the fundamental forces, uh, molecular manipulation. Uh, so, I mean, let's, let's get down to it. Nor uh, Norrin Rad uh, was an individual who was chosen as the Herald of Galactus, gained the Silver Surfer. His power is drawn from the power cosmic, which is the core of which he's able to manifest other abilities from. The power was granted to him by Galactus and amplified by the Annihilation event. Based on accumulative evidence from beings with similar power magnitudes in his own feats, the Silver Surfer's maximum power output ranges from casual planetoid or planetary and planet to star level and plausible and plausibly by drawing energy from outside sources, solar system level without overloading. So that kind of gives you an idea. He's not a universal level individual. He's not even a galactic level individual. However, he's easily in his base form a planetary level, maybe even star level individual. However, um, yeah, well, not it, from yeah. They even say casual planetoid from, and this isn't people just you know writing stuff down. This is people within the story, within the universe, saying that he ranges anywhere from a planetary level individual casually to at least a star level, possibly or plausibly even a solar system level. Um, but anyway, um, he had, one of his base abilities or major abilities is energy absorption and manipulation. Uh, the absorption of electromagnetic energy is the base of his life and power. Uh, he com has complete and utter control over the four fundamental forces in the universe, which, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, are gravity, um, time, space. You know, I'm, I can't remember exactly what they are. <laughs> uh, as a result, the Silver Server can absorb, manipulate, and discharge tremendous amounts of, er tremendous amounts of energy of the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, these powers include... Uh, so, Surfer's incredible powers include uh, powers surpass Nova with the Nova Force and the Quasar with sufficient force to casually destroy planets. Currently at maximum, his beams are capable of almost killing Ravnus, equaling Thanos, and hurting Thor in Asgardian armor. Which is pretty high up there. Uh, additionally, eradicating force fields, phasing through solid matter, creating stale black holes, creating a star while extremely weakened, creating solid energy from forms uh, to form cocoons of barriers, restabilizing, recharging a microstar, accelerating the evolution of life forms on a planet-wide scale, saving the past by peeling back layers of time and time traveling, transdimensional travel, bestowing limit, limited cosmic powers to others, telepathically reading minds, casting illusions, temporarily animating the inanimate and sharing a portion of his power and consciousness with it, uh, empathetic influencing uh, human emotions, uh, that wouldn't matter in this case, I don't think, even though John is still technically human. The Surfer also possesses the ability to suppress and absorb the powers of other beings, making them temporarily or permanently unable to use them. He did this once to the Hulk. He can heal living beings, even if they are near death. He cannot have or raise the dead. He can manipulate matter, um, rearrange and basically disassemble things. Superhuman strength, he, he's, you know, it's incalculable, incalculable really. Uh, <clears throat> near invulnerability. Silver skin is designed to easily withstand the rigors of deep space, and thus far has proven virtually indestructible. Among things that it could simply, uh, blunt, simple blunt force trauma would do anything. He can withstand a punch for She-Hulk without flinching uh, back, while She-Hulk's power level was still class 75. Silver Silver can withstand the pressure of a black hole, he is, which can, you know, suck in light. Uh, it's pretty much a collapsed star. He is not bo bothered by friction associated with atmospheric reentry, godlike stamina, flight speed. He can fly faster than the speed of light, pretty much. Cosmic Sense. Um, he also has the intelligence of a scientist, a dreamer, and something of a uh, philosopher. Skills and many other things he finds quite useful. Uh, Silver Surfer is definitely, I mean, he's, he's pretty tough. He's not like, and he, like he said, he's not even universal or galactic, but um, he is still extremely powerful. John Jonathan Osterman, or uh, Dr. Manhattan. Uh, due to an accident in the, uh, was it a quantum field? Is that, a, I can't remember, was it um, uh, Manhattan Project? can't remember exactly what it was. But he got into an accident and basically it didn't kill him. It spread his atoms of consciousness he was able to reform. As Dr. Manhattan, Manhattan he has nigh omnipotence. 
John's intrinsic field was removed due to an accident that sent his atoms flying, leaving him with barely enough control over his DNA structure. Over time, he was able to reevaluate his psychological or psychology and become Dr. Manhattan, a quantum being of nearly unlimited power. Mr. Mixoplex, a near omnipotent being in his own right, has stated that Manhattan's power far exceeds his own. Now, here's the thing. Here's a real catch right here with this fight. If Mr. Mixoplex, who is a fifth dimensional being, says, oh, no, Dr. Manhattan's stronger than I am. This doesn't bode well for Silver Surfer in the fight. But let's continue. Biofission. He's able to split and replicate his being. And his, uh, he's, uh, this ability was used to on himself. Uh, he becomes many different uh, complete sentient versions of himself, each a divided consciousness of Dr. Manhattan. Likewise, um, biofusion can bring him back. Cryokinesics. Limited only to his, to his perception at time, John can clearly see the future and past from a third-person perspective. Likewise, he can grant others well, uh, this ability by touching them. Precognition, basically, he can see his own future. Time travel, he can mentally travel through time at will. Cosmic awareness, uh, he has an understanding of the workings of the universe on a cosmic scale. Dimensional travel, uh, electrokinesis, can generate electric energy from his body. Enhanced senses, that kind of goes without saying. Energy constructs, energy projection. Um... He, his control over energy is so great that he was able to pull all the energy out of Green Gardener's lantern ring. That's impressive. He also destroyed the White Lantern Corps. Uh, when he, uh, or it's implied he did that. Uh, Manhattan is not restrained by the basic laws of physics. He can levitate and fly. Force fields. Immortality does not seem to age. He stated that, he stated that the world will grow, uh, grow older around him. Intangibility. He can essentially phase. Invulnerability. Uh, possesses extremely durable and practically invulnerable physical... He can't be hurt by conventional means. Magic. When attacked by Edrigan and Zatanna, John analyzed the magical energies and quickly learned to replicate the spells, creating a magical sig sigil that predicted uh, or projected a massive energy blast. Essentially, by studying something, he can learn it. Molecular reconstruction. He's able to basically just pull things apart, regenerate, and just put them back together. Disintegration does that to humans all the time. Uh, can regenerate his entire, his entire body from total disintegration. Photokinesis, he can uh, shift the color frequency. Oh, okay, he can change his color. I remember that. Uh, radiation uh, pro uh, production, met some levels of ultraviolet radiation. Thermokinesis, uh, he is when John restructures his body, he produces a great amount of heat from his uh, body. Ultraviolet radiation, a reality alteration. John states that he can create new universes with even the most casual act, as well as destroy them. After the events of Flashpoint, when Barry Allen attempts to revert his universe back to normal. John interfered with this process by erasing ten years from that, from that would be, re, from that would be, uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, it's weird, weird wording. He reverted the universe, creating Prime Earth as a side effect. See, the, for a while, John was actually you know acting in the DC universe. It was just we didn't know it was him. Uh, self sustenance does not require food or sleep. Size alteration, superhuman strength, telekinesis, and teleportation. The only real clear-cut weakness he has is mental illness. Um, but besides that, it's... I mean, he's a nuclear physicist. Uh, quantum, he's a has science in, in both that in nuclear physics, physics and quantum mechanics. Genius-level intellect. Architecture. These two go head-to-head. -head. Now, I will say this. Silver Surfer is definitely a tougher opponent than, um, a, than most of what John could normally go up against. Uh, like, unless it's, say, like a, uh, maybe a, um, a White Lantern, uh, I, I would imagine, uh, Silver Surfer could probably beat most of the Lantern Corps with, with, uh, too much difficult, because all he had to do was destroy the ring. Uh, uh, that's all it is. Molecular like manipulation, get rid of the ring, gone. Uh, the White Lantern might be the only one, uh, exception just because of how powerful they are. Uh, but that being said, if these two met in combat, uh, you know, let's say John Darkman hands that goes to the... Marvel Universe instead. These two met in combat. Silver Surfer, you know, they would, firing energy at each other would be pointless. They would just absorb each other's energy and blow it back at them. Likewise, molec actually molecular um, manipulation wouldn't actually work on them either because if you're trying to, you know, manipulate someone's molecules but they also have that ability, then you're, they're just going to stop that you from doing that. So it frankly doesn't make sense that you could say John just disintegrates Silver Surfer when Silver Surfer could easily counter an effect like that. Um, likewise, though, it wouldn't work on Dr. Manhattan either because he could just reform himself. So, I mean, but here's the problem is that John can see the events of his own time. So, 
it's um, that it can be blocked uh, with enough tachyons. It can be blocked, uh, and it's possible that Silver Server could create the tachyons to block anything going on because he too can peel back the uh, fabric of time and you know see through it. So in theory, if he's able to create tachyons to block John's field of uh, field of view, then in terms of his own future, then that would actually give John a little bit of a pause for a moment about, you know, how am I supposed to handle this situation? Okay, I don't know. And actually, you know, I, I should thank you, Silver, no, no, uh, Norman, Norman Rand. I'd almost forgotten the thrill of uncertainty. <laughs> um, so, uh, if these two, uh, now, in terms of physical altercation also, I mean, how strong is he, um... While the microscope size is superhuman heights and strength seemingly in the normal form, uh, I mean, he, lifting planetary structures and having uh, dedicated technological equipment with him. Um, so, I mean, apparently he is planetary in terms of his strength level. Silver Surfer could destroy a planet, but he's not planetary in his strength level. Now, that's not, not to say they couldn't, like, duke it out for a bit. But ultimately, the problem comes down to this, is that one guy has a universal level of power. Dr. Manhattan has a universal level of power. Silver Surfer does not. Silver Surfer, by the standards that the other characters of Marvel kind of, uh, you know, hold themselves to, uh, and have, you know, have compared Silver Surfer to, he only has maybe at the strongest solar system level power. Now, he's still a powerful individual, but the it, ultimately, Silver Surfer doesn't have enough he doesn't have what it, the, the the actual abilities to put Doctor Manhattan down for good. He can blow him up just like John could blow him up, but ultimately, John will just reform, whereas Silver Surfer will not. So, in a battle of attrition, which this fight would go on forever if that's the case, Silver Surfer would actually be the one that tires out first, and then Doctor Manhattan would eventually would just put him down, uh, and that's it. Now he can shut down the powers of other individuals. But, um, uh, what, what was that in fact that he can actually shut down the powers of, yeah, uh, he, yeah, he possesses the ability to suppress, the, uh, suppress or absorb the powers of other beings, making them temporarily or permanently unable to use them. So it's possible he could do that. I mean, it's possible, but it seems like he can only do that to beings who are at least equal to him or lower, because stronger beings would be individuals that are difficult for him to enforces will on i guess you could say so and john again could probably see that coming if he if silver server didn't get the tachyons up uh so i'm going to have to go with dr manhattan on this he's just unfortunately a much more powerful individual than silver surfer uh it just in the long grand scheme of things but hey look let me know what you think do you think it is silver surfer or do you think it's um dr manhattan put in the comments below let me know but thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know the review of it at some point. Ideas for Woodwind, Star Wars, Superior Magic, What If, anything you do in the channel, put that in the comments below as well. Get that at some point. So, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to be back tomorrow with a Lanticorps video. Thanks for watching. Later.